devoted husband, father, colleague, and friend, Tom Melsheimer from the Jesuit Dallas class of 1979, has spent a lifetime seeking the fullest development of his God-given talents while putting his faith into action. As one of the most preeminent litigators in the country, Melsheimer's success has been lauded by nearly every existing peer review across America. His writings have been published in major daily newspapers, magazines, and law journals, and his reputation led the American lawyer to declare Melsheimer one of the most sought-after trial lawyers in the country. In addition to a decorated record as the managing principal in Dallas of the global law firm Fish and Richardson, Melsheimer has been hugely devoted to Jesuit, to which he has given an abundance of his time, expertise, and resources as a member of the Jesuit Dallas Foundation Board of Trustees, the Jesuit Dallas Alumni Board, and as a class captain of the Parents Challenge Drive. His generous philanthropic support of Jesuit has also been exemplary, marked by a deep commitment to the alumni phonathon, the celebration auction, the Majas Golf Classic, and the creation of an endowed fund to support need-based student scholarships in memory of his father, Albert H. Melsheimer. My first memory of Tom, he's probably a freshman. He has a huge, loud voice. He has irritated Jack Fitzsimmons in some way. I think Jack was his senior big brother. And I thought, this guy is got so much charisma and just huge personality. And then when I had the honor of teaching him, he has this incredible wit and he's an excellent writer. And you know, I saw him in I think the importance of being an Ernest, Ernest in Romeo and Juliet. Uh, he, and also he did a lot of work with student council. And he also would come to my office and talk to me about, you know, like a couple of classmates of his that he worried about, like, you know, showing you that compassion. He had a lot of compassion. He was a great friend to a lot of kids. As I could see Tom sitting there, you know, a young Tom Melsheimer, 17, 18 years old, and a relatively young Mike Ersing sitting there, you know, 23, 24 years old. Uh, you know, and it brings back great memories of, of that first community days and really my first immersion uh, into Jesuit. Talking to Tom, he realized he was brilliant, uh, he was a leader, uh, and he was a good man. And those three things are just great qualities, and I think Tom has demonstrated that uh, with his practice of law for so many years now here in Dallas. In my 44 years of work at Jesuit, the first thing I learned is that behind every successful Jesuit student is first a Jesuit mom, and then the really smart Jesuit guys know who to marry. And the best thing Tom did was probably marry Mickey Bowen. We met in 1978 working on a political campaign Tom's best friend, Jerry Fowler, Jay, to us, uh, was working with me on the Tom Pocking campaign. He told Tom about a couple of Ursuline girls working on the campaign, and Tom came down to volunteer. Then later, uh, Tom was on student council, and I was the social secretary for Ursuline, who coordinated with Jesuit on events. So we had joint student council meetings and we would meet there. And that led to a homecoming date, which led to dating, which led to marriage. Of their three children, they have adopted two, and one from Romania, and, and then Jack from Hope Cottage. And Tom is just crazy about his children, and a very, very good father. Well, how do you measure Tom as an alum, and I said, well, I can measure him by his two sons, uh, Jeff and Jack, who went here, and who are, you know, I, I know Tom would say it's mostly Mickey, and I'd have to somewhat agree with him on that, but, uh, you know, obviously, you know, it's, it's the family situation and the type of man that Tom is to raise such two outstanding young men. Tom is a very hard worker, and over the years in the legal profession, he's been recognized by a number of different organizations. But I have to tell you, there is no greater award than something to do with Jesuit. The foundation for Tom's becoming a lawyer is at Jesuit. He was on the basketball team in his freshman year when he tried out and the coach went to him and says, Tom, the only team that you're ever gonna make is the debate team. Tom is a great general. He inspires people. He is fearless. 
he's also got an uncanny ability to be self-deprecating, to insert humor at just the right moment, to be real. He connects with juries. We all brag on and, and tell people that the courthouse and the courtroom are the great equalizers, that rich, poor, big, small, are all on an equal basis. But when you have Tom Melsheimer on one side, the scales are a bit tipped. When you're on the Melsheimer team, there's no better place to be. When I first heard that my dad would be receiving this award, I thought, oh no, it's only gonna go to his head. Good news is, it can't get any bigger. But in all seriousness, congratulations, Dad, on winning this prestigious award. No one is more deserving, and no one embodies the phrase, man for others, quite like you. Congratulations, I'm very proud of you. Greetings from Nashville. I'm sorry I couldn't make it down for your big day. I know how much this means to you. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I'm so proud of you. I love you, Dad. At work, my dad's nickname is Superman, but in reality, what makes him Superman is being a man for others. Congratulations, Dad. I'm really proud of you. Tom, as much as I would love, as you know, to gig you and make fun, I just want to say I am so incredibly happy that Jesuit has taken this time to recognize you. You have been an amazing father, a very supportive husband, and those qualities go a long way. That ripple effect goes a long way. It touches many people, and I am grateful that an organization as special as Jesuit is there to pat you on the back. I love you. Congratulations to the 2016 Jesuit Dallas Distinguished Alumnus, Tom Melsheimer.